Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss multiple choice questions in lower limb anatomy from question number 71 to 80. I will put all the answer keys in the description along with my book Lower Limb Anatomy Tutor for your kind information. Let us start the multiple choice question. Question number 71. Which of the following muscles tendon contains the largest sesamoid bone of the body? Quadriceps femoris, abductor hallucis, triceps suri, lateral head of the gastrocnemius. What is the answer? Which of the following muscle tendon contains the largest sesamoid bone of the body? Answer should be the quadriceps femoris, the largest sesamoid bone in the body is the patella. Okay, answer is A. Question number 72, which of the following tendon passes under the inferior extensor retina coulomb? Tibial is posterior, fibular is longus, fibular is brevis, Fibular is tertius. What is the answer? Which tendon passes under the inferior extensor retina coulomb? Answer should be fibular is tertius. D is the answer. D. Question number 73. We go here. Okay. Which of the following muscle inserts chiefly into the indicated area? Indicated area means the here, this is the indicated area. In red, this is the tubercity of the navicular bone and also gives slips to all the tarsal bone except the talus and, the, and to the second, third, and fourth metatarsal bone. Okay, so it inserts to multiple bone all tarsal bone except the tendons and also second third and fourth metatarsal bones what is the answer tibial is anterior extensor hallucis longus fibular is brevis tibial is posterior what is the answer answer is the tibial is posterior its chief insertion to the Tiversity of the navicular bone, but it will be connected to all the tarsal bone except the talus and also the metatarsal bone, second, third, and fourth receives insertion from the tibial is posterior. Okay. Question number 74. A medical student is trying to palpate the dorsalis pedis artery of a sister. 62 year old patient with a history of intermittent claudication, tingling, tender, calf muscle, and numbness in the right lower limb. The dorsal pedis artery can be palpated in between which of the following two tendons? Extensor hallucis longus and first tendon of the extensor digitorum longus, first and second tendons of the extensor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum brevis, and extensor hallucis brevis. Extensor digitorum brevis and fibularis tertius, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. What is the answer? Okay, so it can be palpated between the extensor hallucis longus tendon and the first tendon of the extensor digitorum longus. So you will get, you can palpate the dorsal is pedis artery. First and second tendon of the extensor retina coulomb, extensor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis, extensor digitorum brevis and fibularis tertius, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. This will not fit in our answer. Our answer is here. It can be palpated between the tendon of the extensor hallucis longus and first tendon of the Extensor digitorum longus. 
Question number 75. Which of the following nerves accompanies the anterior tibial and dorsal spadis arteries? Superficial fibular nerve, deep fibular nerve, sural nerve, saphenous nerve, tibial nerve. Okay, what is the answer? Answer is the deep fibular nerve. Okay. There is the answer. Answer is B. Question number 76. What is the dermatome of the red delineated area? That means this area. Okay. Root value here. T12, L1, L1, L2, L2, L3, L4, S1, S2, S3. What is the dermatome here? This is the area from where sensation is carried by the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. This is one of the longest cutaneous nerve in terms of distribution. Just another one is the saphenous nerve. Here, this is the this is a very big area of distribution. Root value of the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve is what? S1, S2, and S3. Question number 77. The plantar flexion of the ankle is produced by which of the following muscle? Plantar flexion. Triceps suri, tibialis anterior, extensor helicis longus, extensor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum brevis. They will all extend and keep the foot up. Also, like TBS anterior, which work, which is very important muscle for maintenance of the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. Plus, it causes the dorsiflexion and inversion of the foot, not the plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is done by the triceps suri, two head of gastrocnemius, one muscle, another muscle that is the the soleus, two head of gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle from the triceps suri. There is the there is the important muscular combination of tendon by means of tendo achilles, it is inserted to the posterior surface of the middle third of the calcaneum. Okay, and it causes plantar flexion. The muscle is this triceps suri muscle. Question number 78 is a part of routine physical examination of a long standing hypertensive patient. A medical student is trying to palpate the posterior tibial artery. The posterior tibial artery can be palp palpated in between which of the following two tendons? Tibial is posterior and flexor digitorum longus, flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. TBL is anterior and TBL is posterior. TBL is anterior and extensor helices longer. What is the answer? Answer is this. The posterior TBL artery can be palpated in between which of the following two tendon. These two tendon. TBL is posterior and flexor digitorum longus. Question number 79 here is that which of the following ligament is located in the medial surface of the ankle joint and connects the tibia to multiple tarsal bones? So, it is located medially, it is also called medial ligament. Which of the following are not part of the lateral ligament? Okay, and our question is that which of the following ligament is located in the medial surface of the ankle joint and connects the tibia to multiple tarsal bones? So, answer is anterior talofibular ligament, another option, posterior talofibular ligament, the cal calcaneofibular ligament, this one A, B, D, these are related to the lateral ligament. Our medial ligament is the 
posterior our medial ligament is the deltoid ligament that is that this anterior talofibular ligament posterior talofibular ligament calcaneofibular ligament they are all part of the lateral ligament of the ankle our question is the medial surface of the ankle joint that is the medial ligament of the ankle joint here also called deltoid ligament this is deltoid ligament okay Question number 80, a medical student identified an arch-like fibrous band in the origin of the soleus between the tibia and fibula. He found that an arch-like area of origin of the muscle soleus. What nerve passes underneath the arch of the soleus? Superficial fibular nerve, deep fibular nerve, common fibular nerve no they all are going towards the fibula okay they are not the answer sciatic nerve sciatic nerve actually split it at the top part of the pubital fossa into tibial and common fibular nerve so it is out of question sciatic nerve should not pass under the soleus tibial nerve well Tibial nerve is the answer, which passes underneath the arch-like origin of the soleus muscle. Answer should be tibial nerve. And that's all about the 20 question from 71 to 80. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And I will put all the answers in the description of this video along with my book, Lower Limb Anatomy Tutor. If you're interested, you may collect them. Okay, so thank you again. Bye now.